we talked about this on the drunk live stream last night, but I figured I'd make a separate video. So Artie Lang has avoided prison time once again. So from this article by Radar Online by Mary Jacob, she puts, Artie Lang tests positive twice for cocaine, opioids, and oxycodone. Art the troubled comic, the troubled comic, oh my God, twice, twice people. So Artie Lang tested positive for drugs twice in one month, thus violating his probation. According to the Essex County Assistant Prosecutor, Tony Gutierrez, a hearing was held on Friday to determine the fate of the troubled comic following his probation violation after he was caught with drugs in his system. Lang, 50, was not present during the hearing as he undergoes a 30-day inpatient treatment program in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. His lawyer, Frank Arleo, appeared before the court on his behalf. So, what if I got his goddamn lawyer to go? Lang is expected to appear in court on December 14th following his completion of the program. He tested positive twice in October, thus violating his parole, Gutierrez revealed. The first time he tested for cocaine and opioids, and the second time it was for cocaine and oxycodone. The second time, people. While he was on probation, he should have already been in a program, Gutierrez added, but thus far he hasn't shown that he's being serious or complying by the terms of his probation. When Lang was sentenced to probation over the summer, Gutierrez expressed concerns that the drug addled comic needed to be put in a long term mandatory treatment center or face prison time. But Judge Civilli decided to give Lang one last shot. Uh, it's been like 50 more last shots. Come on. <laughs> and ordered him to a four-year probation sentence. The probation sentence included mandatory drug testing, completing an outpatient program, and 40 hours of community service. I guarantee you, Artie Lang has not done one second of community service, nor will he have to. My fear is that he is going to do what he did last time, Gutierrez admitted. He got kicked out during the last 30-day inpatient program because he was caught with painkillers in his pocket. Now, if you don't know what this, what he means by that, remember when Artie first got arrested and they first stuck him into rehab and then out of nowhere, like seven days later or a week later, he just showed up at the AA show with half his head shaved and had this story about some guy named Crucifix beating him with the pipe and the look on Anthony and Gavin McGinnis' face of why the fuck is Artie here? He got kicked out of that rehab. See, no, no one ever knew that. He, I was never confirmed that he got kicked out and he had drugs on him. So, holy shit! <laughs> if he can't even do a thirty day treatment, not sure he will be able to do this one. He needs to be in a long term inpatient center, and I don't see that happening unless it's mandated by the courts or he faces prison. In the next hearing, the judge will see how he was doing. Gutierrez explained. Is he doing the right thing? Is he successful and not testing positive? Artie's lawyer, Mr. Frank Arleo, said he would be bringing whatever documentation necessary to prove this. Lang is now facing prison time after violating the rules of his probation. Hopefully, we will see what happens over the next 30 days and whether or not he complies with the terms, Gutierrez said. Okay, so here's my thoughts. First and foremost, he popped twice. Now, imagine... If you or me were on probation for drugs with mandatory drug testing and our first drug test, we popped for cocaine, the handcuffs would be put on us immediately and thrown right in jail. It wouldn't even be a fuck. No, the first time. But not Artie Lang. No. Artie Lang, hey, you, you, you popped on. How the fuck do you? Doesn't cocaine only stay in your system for fucking three days? Are you like, how do you but you know they're like do you think when they got the results back of the fucking test they're like oh cocaine eh, already being already then the second time he pops with cocaine and oxycodone and then he's like oh fuck let me go to rehab so he goes to rehab they do this court hearing where apparently he doesn't have to show up and basically say 
eh, after the rehab, we'll just go back to what it was. You won't have to go to jail. Artie Lang will not be going to jail, people. If this were you or me, my God, to be a rich celebrity, holy shit. You get to do whatever the fuck you want. But if this were you or me, the first time we popped on the drug test, it wouldn't even be, we'd be so fucking gone. But at this point, I no longer blame Artie Lang. I'm not one of those people, you know, like people like would say Howard was enabling Artie. I never thought that. Artie is his own man. Artie does what he does. At the end of the day, it's Artie Lang's fault. Except for now. Because now we have obviously a prosecutor and very obviously a judge who refused to do their job. If this were me or you or anyone else, after what this motherfucker did, popping twice, with not like weed or something, with fucking cocaine, after he was arrested with 81 decks of heroin, if it was anyone else, they'd be in jail. So, at this point, it's the judge's fault. And the prosecutor, but mainly the judge. And, um... So I no longer blame Artie. I blame the judge for not doing, I think it's a girl, right? For not doing her job. If she pretended Artie Lang was just some black dude or even some white dude, just not famous, he would be in jail. So, and if I'm Artie Lang, fuck it, keep doing cocaine. Keep doing, they're obviously not going to do shit about it. So might as well keep fucking doing it. So, but Artie Lang... They're going to do another hearing December 14th. He'll show up. Be like, I've been in, I've been in uh, uh, rehab. And they'll go, okay, you've been in rehab. Then they'll take another drug test. They'll fail that. They won't give a fuck. Then he'll, we're going to, this is a continuous cycle of this game. And for Artie, I mean, he's like, all right, I get to do as much drugs. And then I was just going to keep going to rehab for like 30 days, come out. Then I get to do the drugs again. And like I said, at this point, it's the judge's fault. So, Artie Lang avoids prison time. 